All right, guys, it is Labor Day weekend. I have three days off. All three days are complete overcast with about 50% rain. So I'm going to places where I can get in and out quick in case it starts raining. Right now I'm spot hopping. I'm gonna go to three different places today. Oh, there's some big fish right here. Oh my. Got him. All right, first fish, guys. First fish of the day. We have a spotted bass, about eight inches. But it is a fish. Got him on a chartreuse power grub. All right. It's a start to my day. Guys, got my first fish on a worm. Really nice male bluegill. Pretty decent. Not huge, but not small by any means. It's definitely a above average bluegill there. Nice fish. What is this? Channel cat. No, large mouth. Spotted bass. Oh, I got it right on the third drive. <laughs> Spotted bass on a worm, guys. This place is loaded with bass right now, and they will not hit my chartreuse grub to save my life. And I'm not throwing a crankbait or nothing else in here, just asking to get hung. That is not a bad spotted bass. Not a bad little fish. Alright guys, got my third fish, a real large mouth. Also small. Right by the bank. Boy, there is just so many fish here. I regret not bringing a top water or spinner bait. I could have hammered these bigger fish. I've seen them three and four pounds chasing shad really sad part of all of it they're in here they just ain't really interested in grubs all that much and I didn't bring any other lures <clears throat> except really deep diving crankbaits for where I'm going next and those would not work here they would go straight to a log there we go oh yeah a little bigger this one's pretty decent he ain't no three or four pounds but it's not a bad bass either all right, he's 12 anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, large mouth there. All right. That's four fish. Two spotted, a large mouth, and a bluegill. Well, guys, I was walking out of this spot. And I cast it one more time and I just got the biggest fish I got all day. That's a nice spotted bass. I can't believe it. On my way to the car, I was going up below the bridge here. It's a big spotted bass, my goodness. They're biting good today, guys, I can already tell. Tomorrow I'm gonna go strictly for red ears mostly. That is not a bad little spot. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, 
not a bad fish at all. <clears throat> Heck yeah. Alright guys, I got what I came for. Now I have to be very careful. I'm using four pound line, no split shot and no bobber. With red wigglers going after red ears. He's a big one. He's a nice one. <clears throat> well, so much for not getting wet. That's a nice red ear. Oh yeah. I may keep some of these today. cooler I guess I'm gonna have to cut the line anyway and get a new hook unfortunately beautiful red here though First off, I gotta get all my worms out of here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Go. Another red ear. Another female. Pretty close to the bank that time. side of the lake where I've had better luck. Didn't do bad here. We're going to head over there because I've got exactly one hour so I want to try a different spot. crackers are biting too though. I had to switch to Mr. Crappie line because there's enough ripples on the water I could not see. I already got fish swallowing the damn hooks. I tell ya. Might as well get them stupid things out because I'm going to need them. These. If that even works, I don't have the time and it don't even work. Goodness gracious. It 
worked. That time it worked. All right, guys, this fish has been caught before. side you're in the anchor I got fish. go around there you go I told you everyone's like that they're all 11 inches that's actually a small one they're a little smaller than average they're good red ears in here. They're really big. Was you just letting it set real patiently? Huh? Did you just let it set patiently? Yeah, I heard you. Was you just letting it set? Well, something bit mine. This one, look. It's missing half the worm. I didn't even notice till I reeled it in. I told you they're big in here. guys her first red ear about 10 and it's, it's a good female we don't understand it. everyone we've been catching is female out here not a bad one though I know It's a big old red ear. Oh my. There we go. Oh. I let that thing set for five minutes out on the bottom before I finally got a bite. Took that long. Sometimes it just takes a while, I guess. See, I can't pick the line up with these. Oh, that four pound line. He didn't swallow the hook. Awesome. I'm amazed because. The only reason I knew he was on there is because the pole bent over. Look at that one. Ah, we're talking. It just took a while. Five minutes of sitting there. Not messing with it. Alright guys, finally I got my first shell cracker. Not a bad one either. Really nice one. That's what I came for right there. Alright guys, regular bluegill way out in the deep, 10 foot of water on the bottom. Amazingly didn't swallow the hook, that's awesome. Cool beans. Looks like a female, about seven. camera shot off right as I was pulling this big old bluegill out. Now she's got one. Got doubles. Heck yeah. Now they're adding up. We're starting to actually get a good meal in this bucket. It's a nice male bluegill here. Beautiful. Not a bad fish. She caught hers in the belly somehow.
probably a regular bluegill again then. Yep. Not a bad fish though. It's not bad. No, they're all decent size. channel cat here best fish of the day make sure you check it for a tag it'll be in the top fin because they're worth money in here if you find one with a tag it's ten to a hundred dollars it don't have one you'd see it in the top fin they're small but you'd still see it probably orange or yellow I was just talking about that, that we didn't catch a single bass or catfish, and then 30 seconds later she gets a catfish. You need to take it off above the canoe. Did it swallow it? Swallow. Oh, yeah, you'll just have to cut it then. Make sure it don't have a tag. I don't see one. No. Darn. We just hoped we had some money there, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to try to get on a few quick white bass before I had to go fish for common carp. See what happens. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, huh. Dang it, right when a fish bit it too. Oh well, Matt, please. It's way too loose. Oh, he's in the weeds over here. The line is in the weeds, not the fish. The line is in the weeds big time. Completely hung. You still ain't. Oh my god, I'm completely in the bush. He'll get me out. Need to reel in that slack on the right pole. Just make it where it's tight. I just threw it out. All right, he's out, he's out. All right, guys, I got my first common carp. No, leave it the rod holder. Just slowly reel it in until it gets tight. About like that. Okay, now go get the dip net. on the road it's a nice carp guys finally after a whole hour I just got two bites back to back first one stole my corn and this one didn't he's a good four or five pounder decent one No. Oh, okay. All right. Let me go around this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on. All right, guys, we got our first common carp of the day. All right, we got to watch these poles now. I need to. Go over there. Alright guys, go. first common carp. He's actually about ten he's about ten pounds. Hold it good. He's about ten pounds. Pretty nice one. Wow. Beautiful. We finally this is our third trip here. We didn't get anything finally on the third time. <laughs> 